Hello everyone! 반갑습니다! Welcome to YouTube Live class, Body and Brain. This is Jung Shim. Um, today, let's practice the energy healing, uh, Qigong, together. So, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we're practicing the energy healing Qigong for strengthening our energy for self-healing. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, we've been practicing the guided meditation uh, using the i l c h i l i s um, calligraphic meditation. So today, uh, let's deal with some um, Qigong exercise with some bouncing first. Okay, great. Welcome everybody. So gently bounce your knees up and down. And when you do this exercise, the key point is focusing on your feet. There's an acupressure point called y o n g c h e o n the ball of your feet, and that is an anchor to the earth. So please feel your feet, and that is deeply rooted and grounded to the earth. And another point is straightening your spine. Imagine a straight line connecting from the top of your head to your brain, to your chest, and to your abdomen. Good. Yes. So Harshikani, welcome. And Jurgita, yeah, welcome. Oh, from Chicago, happy Friday. Yes. And Jasmine, welcome from Miami. Wow. Great, everybody. Thank you for joining. Let's move our body a little bit. So key point. When you do this simple exercise, it's very, very good for bringing your energy down because we carry a lot of stress and tension in our upper body, in our chest area, shoulder area. When you get stressed, you feel a lot of tension here, upper body, right? So the simplest exercise you can do is gently bounce your body. Bounce your knees up and down. And above your belly button feels empty. Keep emptying down and have the feeling that your lower body, below your belly button, becomes heavier. Okay, Frances, yes, welcome. And Hasmik from California, welcome. Okay, so please bring your feet about shoulder width apart. Make your feet 11, not like this. Your toes are 11. Okay. And then gently move your knees up and down. Keep relaxing and emptying your upper body. We're going to do one more minute, okay? So the key point was what? Your feet. Yes, we call y o n g c h e o n point. y o n g c h e o n acupressure point is the beginning point of your kidney meridian channel, also anchored to the earth. So keep bouncing your upper body, relax your upper body. With a smile is even better, right? Smile, relax, and empty your upper body. Your upper body becomes empty. Bring your tension, weight, and heaviness keeps moving down to your feet. And feel your lower body becomes heavier. <sighs> Breathe out naturally. Breathe out. Just doing it two to three minutes, you can feel a huge difference. Wow, Diana from New Jersey. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Okay. So, feel your feet. Feel your heels. Feel your toes. And grab the earth with your toes. Okay, very good. Stop. And relax and feel your fingertips. Feel your fingertips. Relax your whole body from the top of your head, connecting energy line. Pure, bright energy is coming down from the top of your head, into your brain, chest, to your lower abdomen, d a n j o n Relax your hips and hip joints. Bring your weight down to your heels. and gently shift your weight one degree forward. One degree forward, so that you can feel the front part of your toes. Can you feel it? Yes, very good. Now, uh, last class, we share the three postures. So, c h a n j i n posture for your upper chakra, 
lower chakra and middle chakra. So let's practice one more time. Bring your hands down. Open your hands. When you do the Qigong, it's important to move slowly. To the side. And feel the energy in your hands. Bring your hands down together. As if you are holding the rock. Strengthen your feet and legs. Bring it forward and up. And you're slowly going up and turn your palms. And gently push up. If you want a stronger energy accumulation, you can bend your knees deeper or lighter, depending on your condition. So keep this posture for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now slowly relax. Relax your hands. Open your palms again. Make a big circle. And bring energy down to your Dhanjan, lower abdomen. Your hands in front of your Dhanjan, Chi. This posture strengthens your lower Dhanjan, lower abdomen. So stay there for five seconds. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, now slowly open your hands. And third posture is connecting to your heart chakra. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Your fingertips about two to three inches apart or further. Your elbows relaxed. Your elbows relaxed. So this posture, you focus on your heart chakra or middle dungeon, chest. The energy is flowing into your chest. Breathe naturally. So we call it in posture, in. Energy comes into your chest. Okay, five seconds. Bring your hands down again. Let's practice from the beginning. Chun posture is for upper dungeon. Bring your hands, holding the energy, strengthen your legs, feel your feet, Yong Chun. Gather energy and focus on your brain. And gently turn your palms. And focus on your upper dungeon, brain chest and your lower abdomen. Focus on your palms. Very good. Relax your hands slowly coming down. Now the posture for the lower abdomen, Tanjan. Bring energy down, your hands in front of your Tanjan. At this posture, focus on your lower abdomen. The energy flows into your lower abdomen, Tanjan. Very good. Now, if you feel your legs becoming tired, you can raise your knees a little bit. However, I really recommend you to keep bending your knees if you can. Now, in posture is for your middle Tanjan, your heart chakra. Energy comes into your heart chakra. Okay, five seconds. Now slowly, at the end of the Qigong practice, we do energy circulation movement. Sushi. Bring your hands up. Legs up. Straighten your legs. Bring your hands down. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. 
Yes, welcome. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, very good. Now bounce your knees one more time. We have Lita from Hawaii. Okay, Aloha. And Angela from Costa Mesa, California. Okay, welcome. Great. So, how do you feel? Don't you feel warmer, right? Yes. Very simple exercise. Just three postures for your upper, lower, and middle dungeon or chakras. However, these simple postures, depending on your uh, practice level, if you do it a little bit longer or shorter, it, it's up to you, okay? So you can do it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. Okay, let's do an application exercise. Okay, stop. Bring your palms down. Okay, Doris from New York. Okay, welcome. Palms facing down. Bend your knees slightly down. How deep? It's up to you. Okay, you can go really deep or you can go slightly down or you can practice on the chairs, okay? Even on your chairs, okay? Make sure your spine is straight. Even though you're going down, you're not bending forward like that or going backward like that, okay? So keep your back nice and straight. And gently tuck in your tailbone, okay? Ready? So number one, arms to the side. Gather energy, bend your knees slightly down. Grab the energy. Bring it to your center. Going up, turn your palms. And connecting energy from your top of your head to your brain chest and your lower abdomen dungeon all the way down to your feet yongchan focus on your palms you can you feel your body is getting warmer that's very good now going down the second posture is for your lower abdomen make a big circle Bring energy down, focus on your lower abdomen. Application of this exercise, from here, you can go down, stretch down, your palms facing down to the earth. You can gently stretch your upper body down and feel the stretch in your hamstrings. and feel the energy rising from the earth through your palms. Like this, good. Now gently bend your knees. Going up, make a circle outward. And your fingers coming together. Now focus on your heart chakra your chest. Now let's stay here for one minute. One minute meditation. Your energy is being activated from the top of your head, your brain. You can feel some pulse, electromagnetic sensation in your palms. Energy is moving down to your tanja lower abdomen and all the way down to your feet, Yong Chan. Focus on your breathing. Now give yourself a good message. I love myself and thank you, my body. The natural healing power is in growing and growing and growing in myself. In my immune system, the energy is flowing through my whole body and helps my immunity. 
My whole body is getting warmer and warmer. Keep focusing on your tanjal lower abdomen. Now slowly bring your hands down. Energy circulation movement three times. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in deeply. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in deeply. And breathe out. Okay, shake your body again. Okay, now rub your palms. Hold your breath. Rub your palms as fast as you can. Now, energy massage without touching. Send the energy to your brain, to your face. Sweep down your whole body, to your chest, to your abdomen. From your shoulders to your hands. Again, very good. Right, let me just turn the music off. Okay, so how was your practice today? Did you enjoy it? Good. So um, please share what you felt and experienced in the chat room. Um, the main point of Qigong is Qi means the energy, Gong means the practice or training. So when you do the Qigong practice, the important thing is connecting energy through your body and feeling your feet because your feet is a very important connection point to the earth. So usually uh, we don't feel our bodies a lot, right? But when you feel your body, energy flows into your body because there's a principle where the mind goes, energy follows. So if your mind is going out, energy is going out. But when your mind is going in, especially to your body, then energy flows into your body together. So when you practice the Qigong, especially the simple exercises, very simple, right, in the beginning. Uh, but as you keep doing it, you can feel your energy gradually coming down. Okay. And also you can feel your body is getting warmer, right? And also you can feel a sense of heat. That heat is a key point of your health and immunity. So let's see, Jasmine, lots of heat, a little dizzy. Okay, so you can just keep bringing your energy to your dungeon. Okay, Michelle, thank you. And Jurgita, thank you. Always great class, thank you. And Fran and Frances in New Jersey. This is helpful, less stress and more cheerful. Okay, stay healthy everyone, thank you. And Shelly, I feel relaxed and happy. And Diana, I felt the energy as well as my body got warm, very good. And thank you, felt strong and stable energy center from Long Island, New York, okay, thank you. And Hasmik, I enjoy a lot, thank you so much. I felt heat in my body. Um, there's a doctor in Japan who had a lot of research about the body temperature. Now, if you can raise the body temperature just one degree Celsius, maybe three or four degrees in Fahrenheit, you can improve your immune system about three to five times, okay? So, you know, that kind of a heat is very important because it's internally generated heat, okay? 
So, Hasmi, thank you. And Harshika-nim, I love Qigong postures. I feel so deep in my body. Thank you. And Cassandra, thank you. Came late but still felt good energy. Very good. And Lisa, warmth of energy moving through. Okay, thank you. And Diana, I love the session and many thanks. Okay. So uh, from next week, uh, we're going to extend our Qigong postures uh, one by one. So this week, I was focusing on creating a foundation. So foundation means energetic connection to your body, connecting to your feet, and also making the movement, basically strengthening your upper, lower, and middle energy center, dungeon. And next week, uh, let's practice some of the variations so the point of Qigong is very simple and easy. You just let the energy flow, then your body will just move naturally. However, in order to make it happen, we need to have that connection of energy. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next week on Monday, okay? So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and weekend. Bye-bye.